So, uh, what was the <coughs> strategy behind, reasoning behind uh, uh, choosing uh, to ball field first? Fielding is more of a start. I am going to go to the other side. I am going to go to the other side. I am going to go to the other side. I am going to go to the other side. I am going to go to the other side. I am going to go to the other side. The reason why we chose the bowling first, uh, the pitch was fresh and uh, there was a bit live in it, and we want to take uh, full advantage in first uh, six overs and uh, we, have, we, we have done better against India so that can be the reason as well. You bowled uh, uh, pretty well but so many uh, you know fielding errors again so a lot of improvement, uh, scope for improvement there. Okay. Fielding. Uh, definitely we had uh, lots of lapses in the fielding and we have to rectify that error as soon as possible if you want to compete in a bigger stage uh, against uh, tough opponents or champion sides, you have to be perfect or precise in all three departments. Uh, people back home must have watched you guys playing. Uh, what would you say to them? Uh, we are very disappointed and my message for the people back home is that uh, they were expecting a lot from us, especially coming to this uh, tournament and the way we played against India. Uh, the expectations were uh, pretty high back home and every single one was following it from very close. But I would uh, still my message would have been uh, for, for them would be that not to get disappointed and they, that was our tough day in the field and uh, we have learned a lot and hopefully we can come up with a good result and uh, to learn a lot from this game. Last three questions. One, uh, you've had uh, one very good day um, against India and one pretty bad day against England. Um, after having played in the previous tournament, how far do you think Afghanistan team has progressed? Third tournament, Ross for Sumra Makitlia, Yorazam Hadarlo, the Ladin Dep, Lafarazam Badarlo. The Mug the Redi Terri Rana, the Mug Dear Kasuyu, Gana, Zakasamug, the Rurp Hilap with the Din Dep Hilap, the Mug told him Alakan Deer, Rasu, Lok Tambidans Karal, Zakas in a Mugio, the Yod Hesi team, Sara Lubaka Kavala, Sarayo, Yun Humla, the Ripio, just some Jahan came from the uh, we have learned a lot, like if you look at the previous uh, World Cup and right, uh, uh, from that time onward till now we have done a lot and we have achieved a lot. Uh, true, we had a real bad day in the field and we have to forget about uh, this day and we have to look forward but the boys everything we have improved in uh, every single department but though uh, we had a real bad fielding performance in this tournament and we are better side we know that we are a better side than that and uh, hopefully we can carry uh, uh, ourselves forward and uh, perform much more better uh, uh, against uh, such uh, uh, tough opponents Last What's your view on rights betting? Rights betting, betting. Look right, we're betting on rights. Ne, the group of people who are playing against each other, 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 who are playing against each other,
یغه فیمی ای پی ال کې خه هغه کړی دی یغه کې ډیر خبې ایټسمن د زه نه ما خپل ډیر اخسو دا په د دې دې میچ کې ډیر زیات پرسنلی ای لایک ایټ ا لوت اند هی پلیډ ویری ویل هی پلیډ اکورډینګ ټو دی سیچویشن اند ټریټ دی بال پراپرلی اند he has uh, he has done a lot better in uh, 2020 especially in IPL so uh, he, he uh, I personally liked him a lot thanks guys Was that about the perfect performance? Yeah, I think it was. You know, we uh, we knew how dangerous they uh, they were going to be today, and um, you know, we watched the India game and, and saw the dangerous batters. And uh, obviously, after the first over, um, you know, to come back the way we did and bowl them out for for 80 was a superb effort. And Luke, um, obviously, your own performance uh, excellent. But how important is it, do you think, in this tournament for? people to go big i mean 30s and 40s are good but to actually push on today that must have been really depleting for you yeah i think it's you know it's so important in 2020 cricket you, you as soon as you get someone go big everyone else can come around you know to go around you and to see the guys coming out to bat each one coming out knowing that they can hit sixes at will you know um just takes massive pressure off the person in and um you know it's exciting to see these boys keep coming off from uh, batting even Samit at the end obviously in domestic cricket I've come up him enough times and um you know and I know how dangerous he was coming in he, we didn't need him today well look um, when your innings started Afghanistan probably had the upper hand because they had a wicket made in at first but then you read the script well and took England to a good total can you talk us through it um yeah I think that we you know we thought the wicket was probably going to be slightly uh, flatter than that really um after the first couple of overs i think we realized there was variable bounce in it and uh, it was really me and hales were just talking to each other sort of saying look if we can just get something started we didn't want to lose uh, any more wickets at that point so it was really just trying to play strong shots and um you know we just said if we get one over where we can go we'll we'll pull it back and um you know that's what happened and um credit to hales um you know he really took the pressure off me i could sort of just hang around and um you know pick my time when to go uh look in the summer alex described how he was both happy and disappointed to get 99 your 99 not out is it the same sort of feeling of people ask you whether you want to flake with it yet or things like that um yeah i suppose there's always disappointment not to to finish with 100 but um you know i i had been offered that this morning i'd have snapped anyone's hand off so um i i was just so tired by the end i was just happy to uh to keep the board going and um you know the most important thing was we got a big total and um i think scoreboard pressure really had a big you know importance going into the bowling uh, look i was going to ask you about the 100 and that sort of thing as well but you've answered it so um I think of something else um at the start of the at the start of the month you were sort of possibly going to be playing in this team but maybe just slightly on the outside looking in in a 15 what were your thoughts then and this is just beyond what you could have hoped for isn't it Yeah, I suppose I think you know going into before the uh, when I was announced in the 30 originally I was um you know delighted to to be in that 30 and just keep my fingers crossed that I could keep scoring runs to to force my way into the 15 and and luckily that happened and um fairly relieved when I got the call to say I was in the 15 and I suppose then when I joined up um I was just desperate to get a chance because I felt in the former life um you know and luckily I've been given a go and um I suppose then it's about taking it and Um so far hopefully I've have done that and it's about keep building on this now for the rest of the tournament. Luke uh, that uh, four that Simon Torfel signaled off uh, when you sort of smash Shenwari out there. Um what is, how did it look like to you? Did it do you think it was a six or Um was it was it clear to you that it was a four? I didn't really know. I thought it had just bounced and then hit. I wasn't too sure to be honest, but um yeah someone mentioned it could have been but uh <laughs> Oh, you know, that's just one of those things that happens whether it was or wasn't. I'm still pretty happy I'm sat here. Okay. Uh, Andrew Strauss um said that he thought that England were better as hunted rather than hunted. I, I think Stuart said that uh, I think that you prefer to be underdogs as well in situations. Do you think a performance like this will make you a marked side for the rest of the tournament? 
Oh, I think with a performance like that, obviously, um, you know, it shows that we are a dangerous side. I think, you know, naturally the subcontinent sides are always going to be favourites in, in these conditions. But, you know, we've, um, we've worked very hard on, um, on facing spinners, batters especially. And, um, you know, we're, we're quietly confident in the change room. And the more people that keep standing up and getting runs, obviously, as batters, then... Um, if everyone's in, in good confidence like they are, then it makes you a dangerous side. And um, I think that's important going forward. Um, we always back our bowling. I mean, our bowling's been brilliant ever since I played with England. And, and watching on the outside, it's always been very impressive. So if we can get scores on the board, then um, I think we'll be a dangerous side. Look, the momentum's building nicely. I mean, you know, since you got the Walmart Games and now this victory. But obviously India will be a totally different challenge. Will, will that almost identify more where you are really as a side playing them do you think I think it's nice going into that game now obviously we're, we're through um, I don't think it will define whether we can win it or not if we win or lose it but um, obviously if we win that game then it will be a huge confidence boost for, for ourselves again and you know the, the more 2020 I've played it's, the, it's all about momentum and, uh, and confidence you know when you're scratching around for a bit of form it just makes it so much harder when you're worried about getting out and um, I think the batters now have, have all, all been scoring runs and um, you know you see that when people like Johnny Burstow hits a six first ball as clean as he did you know there's the confidence is there and um, you know and if we can do that against India it'll be it'll be huge Last uh, Luke uh, you scored a century you so scored a century in the Big Bash League and then the French Life as well and this 99 years. So how do you compare the three innings? Um, oh, scoring runs for England, you know, there's, there's no comparison, you know. Um, I was desperate to get back playing for England and, um, you know, I've said it a few times, I feel like I'm a better player this time around and um, it's about trying to show that and today was, you know, felt very special from um, having a long way back since injury to to getting back on this road and um, you know I'm obviously delighted and the main thing is we, we won today and we go into that India game with the pressure off as it seems. Luke, you're, oh, Luke. Sorry. <laughs> you're obviously a significantly improved batsman, can you put your finger on what it is, did, did something change or? I think it's working with different players, you know, um, I think the big bash was, was very, you know, was huge for me, I think um, going there and doing well but working with people like David Hussey and, and those guys in the nets, just seeing how they strike a ball and, and working with them, how they go about sort of constructing innings, I think, was um, something that rubbed off on me a little bit. Um, and I think when you naturally go to these places and overseas, you just keep picking different people's brains and um, you try and add it into your, into your game. And um, I think probably a bit of maturity has, has helped a little bit, but um, you know, there's still a lot of learning left to do. Thank you, guys.